Hello and welcome to this very special Badlands event. I'm excited to be here. I'm Blake Van Tussenbrook. This is my co-host, Amy Spoon, longtime member of the Badlands Operative Pro Staff. Um, Amy, why did you come all the way down <laughs> from Washington to Utah for this today? Uh, it's been a long time coming. And I remember the first time we actually met in person, it was at uh, SHOT Show 2011, 2012, oh, yep. somewhere all in that back. range. Yep. Long time. And every year since then, I've been asking you, when are you going to have a women's line of clothing? And yep. so it's here. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here. So yep. super there's, pumped about there's it. There's the big reveal. We're here <laughs> to talk about Badlands women's gear. We're going to give you a look today at the full line, individual pieces, uh, and just have some fun talking about the gear, what went into it and all that stuff today. Um, Amy, you have two jobs today. One is to give people a really good idea of what's coming in the Badlands women's line. Uh, the second thing is to keep me in place. I tend to wander. So <laughs> if I'm going to fall off the stage, you let me know. You give me uh, give me your best. If you were at full draw on, say, an elk, what, what sound would you make to stop that animal? Yeah, I'm just that super simple meh kind of okay. thing. So everybody's so. got their meh. Uh, give me one of those if anything's going wrong. <laughs> you got but, it. <laughs> uh, we're going to kick this off right. We're going to give you a look at Badlands women's gear in the field with this quick video. Hunting gear made just for me? Count me in. Just wear my old jacket, he says. Just roll the legs up, he says. Ugh, no. I'm done making do. Why? Because I'm the top of the food chain. The apex predator. More patient. More stealthy. In misery, it just rolls off me like water. You know it's true. I'm a bugle chasing, arrow flinging, rifle toting, deer skinning hunter. And I deserve gear that's actually made for me. Gear that really fits. Gear that works as hard as I do. I've made do for years. Not anymore. So try to keep up with me. Because now, it's, it's my, my turn. turn. That is probably the 20th or 30th time I've seen that video now, but I still love watching it. Gets me hyped up for the hunt. So excited. Uh, that might be the first time you've seen it all the way through and completed. What are your thoughts on kind of the messaging we had there? Yeah, I like how I like how you were super excited about it, even though gear's not for you and whatever. But just the fact that there is a message behind the product line is a huge thing, I think, for people to understand. It wasn't just something that came out of the blue just to sell more product. Like you guys actually took the time and it took this long to come out with something super quality and have an actual message behind it. And I think a lot of that had to do with Danielle. Yeah. And that's, that's a great segue into talking about Danielle Benj, who is our apparel manager. She started with Badlands a couple of years ago and uh, just came in hot, uh, handling all our apparel, men's uh, everything. Her passion project though, when she came in uh, was women's gear. She wanted to get that off the ground and running. She knew we'd talked about it, but had never uh, really got it going. So Danielle came in and started just knocking things out and uh, was really excited about getting that going. Um, talking a little bit about Danielle, uh, a couple of years ago, not long after she started, she started having some issues with her health, um, not quite knowing what was going on, uh, worked through everything, never missed a beat, but uh, never kind of felt quite right. Um, but we always marveled at how she would just uh, kind of work through everything. So just fairly recently, she was diagnosed with a very rare uh, brain tumor. And it turns out that was the root of all the problems she was having. She was having problems with speech, mobility, um, memory, all sorts of stuff. And it was just crazy. But again, she never missed a beat, kept working up until uh, she literally had surgery just a couple weeks ago. So uh, Daniel had successful surgery to remove that and she's in recovery right now. Ideally, Danielle would have been in this spot hosting this event with you. Uh, she would have loved to be here. Uh, she doesn't love the spotlight on her, but she's so <laughs> excited about this line. She wanted to be here to talk about it. Uh, so that's why Danielle's not with us today, but she's doing great. Uh, we love having her on the Badlands crew, and she's been instrumental in getting this Badlands women's gear line up and running. So like I said, Danielle doesn't love the spotlight and the focus, uh, but we're happy to have her at Badlands and, and continue to wish her a speedy and uh, great recovery. But let's talk a little bit more about you, Amy. I'm curious, um, tell the people 
what's your hunting background? How'd you get into it? Um, and kind of maybe your favorite things to chase up there in Washington. Yeah. Like you said, I'm, I'm from Washington. So, um, grew up on the coast of Washington. So I'm, was exposed to a lot of waterfowl hunting, a lot of fishing growing up. So I was always in outdoors, uh, had a dad that waterfowl hunted a lot, got to go along with him, tack along. My mom fished a lot. So went out with her. And then ever since then, you know, uh, I have a, I have a, uh, significant other that he's crazy about it too. So I get to go any chance we get. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed the Badlands product line for so long. Packs and bino harnesses are probably my favorite. And now with the gear coming out, the apparel, I'm even more stoked about it. So That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's why we hit you up. We know you're chasing all sorts of stuff up there in Washington, always busy. Uh, I know it gets cold up there like it does here in Utah. I know you've had some experience with uh, the gear that we're going to start talking about now. We're going to hit some uh, particular pieces. We're going to start with the Pyre bib and jacket and give people a closer look at that uh, product. Yeah. And just like that, through the magic of video, <laughs> we have welcomed Nancy to Nancy. the stage. <laughs> yes. Uh, she was named by the by the company. Uh, that was the name on the box. Um, but we think it fits. Uh, this is Nancy showing us the Pyre jacket and bib. Two pieces that we've had in the men's lineup, but again, we want to keep reiterating uh, the women's line is not a rehash of the men's line. We basically tore these pieces down and reconstructed them for uh, women's fit, women's features. You were able to wear some of this gear. Uh, tell people just a little bit about uh, some of your favorite features uh, and the best features of the Pyre set. Yeah, for sure. And I can confirm that uh, I've tried to wear, you know, the men's pants before um, just because I I like them, but it just didn't fit. But these definitely do have a women's specific focus on them. And the cut is really, really good. Um, I got to wear this set for a Northern Idaho whitetail hunt last year and uh, lots of snow, super cold, riding on bikes and four wheelers and stuff all day, sitting, you know, on the snow. I basically told Danielle that it was like wearing a sleeping bag while I was out hunting. It was super cozy. Um, so we were dealing with like 25 degree temperature, just had that and the Merino set on underneath. And I was I was good for long sits. Some of the things that I do like about this, uh, the jacket for one has a little bit longer in the back. So it's tapered and it goes a little bit longer in the back, which I love because I'm always one that sits on my butt when I glass have to have that focus and it keeps, you know, the cold from going there, but also with the bibs, um, you know, it goes all the way up to top. So it does cover and there's a little bit lighter weight material on the upper piece of it, which is super good. It makes it way more comfortable. It's not so bulky, uh, when you have a thick jacket on over the top. Um, and then another women specific item on the bibs is it has a zipper on the back. So you don't have to fully take off bibs. If you're a woman and you have to go to the bathroom in the woods, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this has a feature to where you don't have to take everything off. You're able to, uh, utilize that. And it's, it's one of the best things about it. I would say. Yeah, that was one of the things Daniel absolutely insisted on. <laughs> one of those things we just hadn't thought about. Like, yeah. that's a different uh, situation than men have to deal with to get out of those bibs yep. <laughs> uh, without totally disrobing. And it was super important. So, yeah, the double side zips and the flap that drops down makes mm -hmm. that super easy. Um, you can see the heavy pile fleece in here. Again, this is the extreme cold weather gear. It's going to be perfect in kind of. 25, like you said, and below is, yep. is kind of what this is made for. Any warmer than that, you're probably going to get a little a little too hot. But yep. uh, some of the other features, big, tall side zips, uh, boot zips on the on the bib. You talked about the lower insulation level here. No insulation up top. Uh, all that's going to be kind of down below. But again, pyre jacket, pyre bib. After this event, we want you to hop on BadlandsGear.com. There are so many more photos of the gear, list all the features, uh, all the tech, all the, all yeah. the stuff that went into these pieces. So that's a glimpse at the Pyre bib, Pyre jacket, specifically made for women. We know it's going to be perfect for those cold weather temps. Uh, with that, I want to transition and introduce people to Casey and Krista, yeah. a couple of our friends in Iowa that we were able to spend some time with who hunted hard in a lot of the Badlands gear over the past year. So we're going to kick it over to Krista and Casey to give us a further glimpse into the women's line. Hi, Blake and Amy and all you viewers. I'm Krista White. And I'm Casey Wright here from Iowa. 
We want to talk to you a little bit today about the Badlands launch of the new women's line. We were able to try this line out uh, a little bit during our spring turkey season. So we wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of our favorites. Our go-to this spring was the Calor line. Our favorite about this is the fit. Overall, it's the best fit I've ever had in hunting clothes. I usually struggle with too short, too baggy, anything but well-fitting women's clothes for my hunting. So as you can see, um, there is a little bit of a difference between Casey and I in height. Um, these are Casey's pants. So even if I could fit in them, um, I would have plenty of length in these. They're, um, they're perfect. They're, if I sit down, I don't feel like they're up to my knees. Um, if I sit down, I don't feel like they're falling down um, in my behind. Um, they're perfect. Outside of the fit, um, I would say some of our best features with these would be the reinforced, you can see the reinforced rear end, you can see the reinforced knees. These are great for those people who like to spot and stock or reef turkeys and are on the ground crawling around constantly. If the ground's wet, it's material that is water resistant, wind resistant, so you're going to stay warm, but you're not going to be overly warm in those fluctuating temperatures during spring season. The jacket has, you know, the two side pockets down here low, and it's also got the two pockets up here, which is one of my favorite features. Um, you know, for cell phone, range finder, your release, Krista glasses, because glasses. she's got to have glasses for sure. Um, but that is one of my favorite pieces, especially when I look into, you know, buying camo. I definitely want a pocket here, especially for a cell phone. And either side, usually there is no pocket or there's just one, you know, sided. And this has two sides to it. One of my favorites is the Flex. Um, this was great to layer underneath our Calor. And it also has the pocket, it has its three quarter zip. As you can also probably notice it here on the hanger, it is a little longer in the backside and a lot of women like that. They would, you know, want it to be shorter and then kind of, you know, tapered to go over their rear end. And a lot, you know, a lot of women like to have the longer in that. Um, it does have the, the holes for your thumbs at the bottom of it. And I actually really like this piece when I went shed hunting this spring. It was a very, very nice piece to have. I'd say these are two of our favorites because of the color. Um, outside again of the fit, they're fitted more for women. They are a little bit longer, which is what I like. I like having a little bit of length to things, but these two colors can also be used for hunting rather than just lifestyle. So this is another great benefit with either one of these. You know, you don't have, their, you know, it's the lifestyle wear, but you also can hunt with it. And we put it to the test and it worked. We did. It's great products, all of it. Uh, we can't say anything bad about it. So mm -hmm. go get you some. Yes. All right, back to you in the studio, Blake and Amy. So a huge thanks to Krista and Casey for doing that video for us, kind of a recap of their experience with the gear. I was able to spend a bunch of time with them in Iowa earlier this year and uh, talk gear, uh, talk hunts, all that kind of stuff. They're about two of the hardest core whitetail hunters I've ever met and just pure killers. <laughs> their trophy room is absolutely amazing and they just put so much time and effort into their whitetail hunting it, it's so cool and then they also were able to turkey hunt this spring and uh, a bunch of the gear and had some awesome success on their turkey hunts so you can see nancy has made a wardrobe change here so that we can focus on a couple of the hoodies which i know you absolutely loved in your experience let's start with the one you're holding the detour hoodie yep so this is the detour uh I loved, loved, loved this hoodie last year. I basically spent 99% of my time hunting last year in this, whether it was underneath the jacket or just alone. Uh, this has a little bit more insulation than the Flex, so I was able to go back and forth depending on the conditions, but I love the pocket that's available in here. A lot of times you get hoodies that don't have the pocket, and so I I, I utilize this quite a bit, so I like that. And... Um, a lot of times uh, with females items, they have like the thumb, you know, the thumb holder, which everybody loves. But this one, I loved how thick uh, the actual thumb hole was. It made it way more comfortable, especially right. have um, gloves or the top of it. It made it way more comfortable. So these were definitely two of my favorite pieces that I tried last year. Yeah, we know everybody loves a good hoodie, so we wanted to introduce a couple of them into this lineup. As you mentioned, Detour is a little bit heavier, has uh, 40 grams of Primaloft uh, insulation in there, which is uh, really high value, high quality uh, insulation. It gives you a lot of warmth with not a lot of weight, which is what we loved and why we put it into the Detour mm -hmm. hoodie. A uh, little bit of difference in the Flex is a grid fleece, a little bit lighter, not much insulation, but kind of a perfect all season piece. I mean, there's a lot of uses for that. 
uh, not zippered pockets like the Detour has, yep. but a kangaroo pass-through pocket. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's just a super comfortable hoodie. Uh, one of the features we built into a lot of the women's line pieces is a little bit of an elongated hood so you can fit hair in there, uh, whether it's in ponytail or a bun or whatever. Yep. We built in room for that in our hoodies and a lot of our jackets. So Flex is a piece you're familiar with in the men's line. Again, we tore it down and redesigned it for the women's line. Detour, a new hoodie that we've introduced with that insulation. Either way, you're going to be able to get a hoodie that works for what you're doing. Yep. And, um, we're so excited about those two pieces. Another piece I really wanted to touch on was the task pant. Um, versatile, solid color, a uh, lot of features, just one of our most popular pants we've had in our men's lineup. Again, redesigned for the women's lineup. What's your experience been with that task pant? Yeah, so I love having a solid color option. So I, I really, really like that. It's it's this brownish color, then also the charcoal uh, color. I do like having that option. They're lightweight, so I'm able to use these uh, all the way from August bear hunting through September, even into October a little bit um, when I like that lighter weight. Yep. Um, it's quiet. doesn't get burr stuck in it. It's pretty uh, – the fabric is super, super comfortable, and it's kind of an everyday wear, too. I'm wearing it around camp and to the grocery store. Absolutely. That's what we designed it for, to be versatile, wear it around camp, wear it everyday life, but also be able to wear it on a hunt. You want to yep. hold those up a little yeah. bit just for size reference. Uh, during this event, Nancy has been wearing medium <laughs> in the women's line. That's a medium task pant there. But again, that's going to come in tall as well. Two solid colors, just a piece that probably everybody needs in their Badlands lineup is that yep. task pant. Uh, we wanted to give you a quick glimpse of that. We're going to shift gears again and go to our friend Ashley Hines. She had a lot of experiences in the Badlands women's gear over the past year, and she's going to share a few of those with you. Hi, Blake and Amy. I'm so excited to talk about the new Badlands women's apparel with you guys. My name is Ashley Hines, and I had the opportunity to do product testing with the line last fall and a little bit this spring, and I have all the good things to say about it. Before I had the products to test, I was hunting in my husband's old hunting clothes and just like random pieces of woman's camo that I could find. But I really felt like there were just like two types of camo out there. One was like way too baggy men's clothing with a woman's label attached to it. And the other one was like almost way too cute and like not functional at all. And so I feel like Badlands really just nailed the functionality and the fit and the style of the women's line. This fall, I had the opportunity to hunt mule deer and antelope in Wyoming with it. I spent a lot of my days in the women's flex hoodie, which is super functional. It has a perfect little hood. So when it gets windy, you can just throw it over and rock it the whole day. After that, I got to go hunt mule deer in Idaho and Utah, and it was a little bit colder there, so I got to wear the women's color pants and jacket, and they were super functional. I would just throw it over my women's flex hoodie, and then it was super quiet when I was stalking and when I was laying prone for a long time, waiting for a deer to stand up. I was comfortable and didn't get cold, which is important. And then some other places I got to test it, we got to go to Texas on a whitetail hunt. And I wore the woman's leggings, which were fleece lined, super comfortable. I seriously wanted to like wear them to a party after because I felt like cute, but also they worked and I shot a whitetail and it was bigger than my husband's even. <laughs> so they worked uh, approved for sure. And then um, this spring, got to go bear hunting, wore the flex hoodie. So the flex hoodie was just so versatile for anything in the springtime or early season, and really just so comfortable and a good layering piece um, with the Calor jacket and everything else. I got to shoot my first swan where I wore the Calor jacket just over some waders, and it was perfect for that duck hunting weather where it was chillier in the morning, and then I could just peel it off in the day. But overall, I guess, there's two things that I would say about it. One is when I grew up, my dad always told me, you gotta look good to play good when I was like playing sports or doing dance or whatever it was. And it sounds cheesy, but if you don't like feel good in your clothes, you don't feel confident in what you're doing. It's like if you were to go to like a business meeting in your pajamas, you just wouldn't be as confident in like 
completing the tasks. And so having the woman's gear where I fit and I feel confident, it really made me feel confident. And I feel like that was a big part of the reason I had such a successful season last fall. And the other thing I truly believe is that there's no such thing as bad weather just bad gear and i had a lot of bad gear before that left me like leaving a hunt early or just being like freezing and being up on my scope like shaking and it just same thing just made me feel super not confident in what i was doing so having good gear um makes you be able to hunt in any type of weather any type of circumstance and any animal which just makes life better and your hunt hunts a lot better thank you ashley so much for sharing some of your experiences ashley was one of our testers where we gave her the gear and said run with it and she ran with it <laughs> like all over the country uh, including <laughs> hawaii and just all over the places she shared had some great success in the gear and gave us tons of great feedback to refine, uh, make changes and everything before we were able to make it available. So thank you, Ashley, for that input and for all your help over the past year or so. I wanna keep talking about gear and I wanna get into the color jacket and color pant. Those are what we see as kind of your all season, almost all purpose type of mm -hmm. gear. Uh, soft shell construction, everybody's familiar with, but we do a brush trico finish that makes it ultra quiet, super comfortable, it's got some stretch. It's got a lot of features. Uh, we feel Calore is really something probably everybody needs in their lineup. Again, it's gonna be multiple color, multiple patterns, multiple sizes, talls. You're gonna be able to get a perfect fit in the Calore. Tell us a little bit about your favorite features of that set, Amy. Yeah, so one of my favorites is definitely the reinforced fabric that you have on this area and the knees. Uh, I mean, for me, like I was saying before, I definitely, if I'm glassing hardcore and I'm really trying to be focused, I have to be on my butt elbows on my knees. And, uh, I really like that feature for sure. And the, the length, I'm a little bit taller and the length is perfect for me. So awesome. I appreciate having the little bit extra length. Yeah. We knew that was important, uh, to get everybody the perfect fit. We wanted to have as many sizes as possible. Again, we're extra small all the way up to two X, including mm -hmm. a lot of talls. So again, for reference, that's a medium, I love that you pointed out the reinforcements on the seat and the knees. So important. So many times you find yourself crawling around <laughs> or uh, sitting down for yep. long periods of time. We just knew that was important. So you're getting some insulation with the color jacket and color yes. pant, but not too much. Again, we wanted it to be kind of an all season piece, but again, just versatile, um, a piece everybody should have in their lineup. And we think it turned out great. And all yeah. the feedback we received from you and others has been awesome on that yeah. set. I can definitely see this being really, really popular. It's definitely one for every closet for sure. Yep, for sure. So let's wrap up focus on Calor. And I want to introduce another one of our test group. Uh, Sarah Gamash is going to talk a little bit about her experience with the Badlands women's gear. Thanks, Blake and Amy. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Gamash, and I was one of the ones who got to field test the new women's line during hunting season last year. And I just want to start out by um, giving a huge shout out to Badlands and commending them for creating this women's line. I was extremely excited when I found out about it. Women are actually the only growing demographic right now in hunting and we account for about 15% of total hunters nationwide, and I don't think it's slowing down. The hunting industry has always been a little behind when it comes to meeting the needs of the market, keeping up on new trends, and so unfortunately, there are not a lot of companies right now creating products specifically tailored for women, and that kind of sucks <laughs> because it's extremely important to have good hunting gear that um, not only performs well, but that fits us well. And our bodies are obviously a lot different than men's. And so our clothing needs to be different. And so thank you Badlands for recognizing that need and creating this women's line. For me, uh, my personal favorite that I wore during hunting season was the Pyre bibs and jacket, which is the cold weather gear. And I actually have them here and I'll show you guys. Um, I wore these in Texas. I hunted in Texas for the first time last year and I had no idea how cold it was going to be but I was there in December and it was cold. I think it got down to 19 degrees. Uh, these are the bibs and so what I liked about these is I have worn other bibs which were created for men and when you put when I put them on the buckle and the strap would be more over here in my shoulder area. So I am mostly a bow hunter, but if I did want to rifle hunt, which I do rifle hunt once in a while, the stock of my gun would always be hitting that buckle and it was kind of awkward to get it right there in my shoulder where it needed to be. 
So these are awesome because they fit well and the straps come straight up. You don't have to worry about them getting right in here. They also kept me extremely warm. So um, like I said, I was bow hunting. I was sitting in a tree stand for hours, <laughs> 19 degree weather, and I was not even remotely cold. In fact, I was extremely comfortable. And this is the jacket. And one of my favorite things about the jacket is it has this little rangefinder pocket with a little hook. I'm notorious for losing stuff. So this is awesome because then I didn't lose my rangefinder. So overall, I would say these were definitely um, my favorite products that I got to test out. They fit well. They fit better than the men's clothing that I've had to wear in the past. So um, I'm excited that everyone is going to get to try these out. And um, like I said, thank you again, Badlands, for creating this women's line. It's awesome. There were several other products that I loved as well, which I think some of the other girls will be telling you about. But the Pyre was my personal favorite, and it definitely kept me warm this season. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing some of your thoughts and experiences with the gear. Like I kind of said, Amy, at the beginning of this, this was all about developing a line that worked for women as far as fit, functionality, and everything. And that was all about testing this well in advance of getting the gear fully completed and out uh, for purchase. So uh, input from Sarah, yourself, Ashley, all the others has been uh, instrumental in getting this off the ground. Yeah. But I do want to shift from talking about gear a little bit and talk more about women in hunting and kind of the importance of that. For that, we're going to welcome in via Zoom, uh, Colleen Payne, and uh, see if we can get her. Colleen, do you have us? I am here. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. I think, first of all, I mean, we crossed paths in an elk camp several years ago. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do. Okay. And there has been so many good things that have come from that since. And um, it's great how tight knit our little hunting community is. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of a, a weird encounter there. We just <laughs> didn't know each other. Just kind of ha happened to be in the same elk That's camp awesome. all of a sudden and, and, and had a great time. But uh, <laughs> thanks again for being here. Tell, tell everybody who's watching right now just a little bit about yourself, what you do and uh, why this whole thing is kind of important to you. Absolutely. My name is Colleen Payne. I live in Southern New Mexico. I've been hunting and fishing for over 23 years, um, mostly in the Western United States. I grew up exposed to hunting and fishing for my parents, and that quickly became a, a passion and an interest of mine. That passion kind of drew, uh, grew into a bachelor and master's degree in animal science, and now I have a full career in conservation. I currently work as the New Mexico Regional Director for the Mule Deer Foundation. And I get the pleasure of working with some amazing volunteers across the state to raise money for mule deer habitat restoration and outdoor education programs. What would you say would be the biggest barrier to a woman just starting out, wanting to get out there and maybe even just pointing it out as a way to just throw it out there and be um, a way to get over that barrier, get new people involved? Absolutely. There has been some large barriers, unfortunately, for women getting involved, some of those being educational resources, having a mentor or somebody just willing to teach them the ins and outs of hunting and fishing, um, take them out into the field, provide a positive learning environment. Um, and of course, one of those big barriers has been to of having quality gear that make women feel safe and comfortable while out in the field. Because some of those barriers we've been able to learn more about and identify, I've been fortunate enough to develop the Discover the Outdoors and Encourage Sportsmanship program, uh, also known as the DOES program under the Mule Deer Foundation, which is in partnership with state agency and industry partners. Uh, this is to provide women with resources, social networking, firearm safety, hunter education, and field skills taught by women uh, to women in a positive learning environment. As state restrictions are starting to kind of open back up, we're looking forward to providing more um, events and seminars, uh, camps to women across the country who want to learn some of these skills that they could apply in the field, enjoy a hunting trip with their family, make new friends, and become active in conservation efforts. Um, if I could give anyone a tip on breaking down some of those barriers and encouraging those to get more active, uh, whether it's your, your spouse, your child, your neighbor, kid down the street from school, is just provide the resources. Be a positive role model, be patient, be respectful, 
normalize that it's okay for a woman to be a hunter because it is. Um, you know, share your harvest, share your experience and get people involved in conservation projects and organizations. I super appreciate that. And I appreciate all your hard work in making the hunting world a comfortable space for all women. So I thank you for what you do. Absolutely. Thank you. It, is, yeah. it is my pleasure and my honor. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for joining us today, Colleen. We wanted to take a break from talking just about gear and talk about the importance of women in hunting. We've learned a lot over the last few years as we've been developing this line. We're so glad you got to meet Danielle and work with her on some back and forth on the gear and more in a bigger picture sense, um, getting women more involved in hunting. We're very excited about the line. We feel like we put our hearts and souls into this uh, to try to get everything right. The fit, function, the quality, things you mentioned that can only enhance the hunt for everybody that's trying to get out and hunt in the field. So thank you so much for all you're doing. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're going to let you go. You probably have something to go hunt, judging by your walls and stuff. You're probably, I'm sure you're prepping for something. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you go. Thanks so much again. And uh, we'll keep this uh, ride going with you. We appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, Blake and Amy. And thank you to Badlands for providing some gear for our female hunters. They're excited for it. Absolutely. We can't wait. Take care. Have a good one. So thanks to Colleen for joining us today. Uh, that was really cool. That I'm glad good. we were able to do that today. Yeah. Um, but as I mentioned, I want to talk a little bit more about gear. We have a few more pieces to show. First, we're going to highlight the Pecora base layer set and why base layers are so important. So shifting back into talking about some gear, we're going to finish off the rest of the pieces in the women's line. Um, base layers. We have to talk about base layers. Yeah. We wanted to have a real solid uh, base layer option for the women's line at release. So we have the Pecora crew top long sleeve and the Pecora legging, which just turned out amazing. It's our Cordura Dura Spun blended Merino. So everybody knows Merino is super comfortable, uh, lightweight, awesome for wicking moisture, temperature control, all that stuff. But the one downfall of Merino is it can be a little bit fragile and break down quickly, right. not last so long. So what we do with our Dura Spun Merino is it's actually a strand of Cordura, which is extremely tough, and it's wrapped in Merino. So you get all the benefits and uh, quality of merino wool, the feel of merino, but the durability of a cordura, so you get a longer lasting base layer piece. Amy, I know you basically lived in the Pecora top and bottom yeah. for quite a while. Uh, tell us what you liked about it. Yeah, I mean, comfort for one was just, it's it makes uh, anything you're wearing, it feels like you're wearing pajamas underneath. It's just super, super comfortable. And I can attest to the durability of it as well. I do a lot of biking in uh, quite a quite a many miles when I'm going into spots and stuff like that. And I did not get any, you know, abrasion on my knees or anything from, um, doing some hikes. So I really, really liked it. And like you said, I spent pretty much all of October and November and December in these. Yeah. I mean, we preach all the time, the importance of a proper layering set. And that starts with base, base layers. That next to skin piece is so important in controlling your body's temperature uh, controlling moisture, all that kind of stuff that can really ruin a hunt if you don't do it correctly. So Pecora top and bottom were a must for the women's line. They're available yep. in this solid color offering. Like you said, super comfortable, durable, long lasting, uh, again, covered by that Badlands lifetime warranty. The other pieces I wanted to quickly touch on as we wrap up the women's line is first we'll look down here at the rush pant. It's a really cool pant that we were very excited to, to develop. It's a jogger style pant. Uh, most people are familiar with those at this point. Uh, tighter elastic cuff down at the bottom and then just, it's hard to describe, almost like a sweat pant yeah. uh, type feel up throughout. Uh, yep. Were you able to wear the jogger pant? I was, yeah. They were my go-to basically camp pant. So anytime I was back at camp or even around the house in yep. between going morning and evening hunts, I basically had those on. So, and even, I think I took those out uh, pheasant hunting even a couple times. So. Yeah, we definitely developed them to be camp pant, leisure pant, or take them out on the hunt. Yeah. I mean, they can really do it all. They're going to be available in this camo solid kind of blend yeah. and also in a full solid. So you can get the piece you want, the size you want. Again, so comfortable. I find myself wearing them around the house yep. on the hunt as a base layer. Just another very versatile pump, uh, piece to the lineup. That's the rush pant. I did want to touch briefly on the pack that we have. We're offering a new pack with this women's launch called the Valkyrie. It's going to be a day pack. Um, 
our new strata suspension is super cool where it sits against your back it's extra padding we kind of redeveloped our suspension systems on a lot of badlands packs yeah that features that all new redesigned very comfortable suspension uh, a lot of things we're doing on uh, the newest badlands packs as well is we've taken all the bulk pockets the bulky pockets off of the waist belts allowing for a more streamlined fit mm -hmm. and we have pocket accessories that you can add there if you want yes. them take them off if you don't or uh, ability to attach a holster knife mm -hmm. whatever it may be you can attach to that molly webbing other than that uh, it's a day pack several pockets a lot of organization built in so you can get as organized as you want to be or don't want to be <laughs> as you can see on the on the image of casey up there on the screen it's bow carry compatible rifle carry compatible has a bow rifle boot that can drop out the bottom stretch water bottle pockets hydration compatible it's kind of everything you've come to expect from badlands yep. in a pack we're excited to release i don't think you've been able to run that yet nope, not yet but we're gonna I... get you one and uh, get your thoughts on yep. it uh, I know you love the sacrifice. Yeah, that's women, my right. Yeah, I've yeah. had that for 15 years and so absolutely love as it. As you were telling me, that sacrifice pack, you love it for yourself and um, gives you more storage, but not a super long torso. So yeah. that's a great option for women yep. as well if they're looking for more storage, that sacrifice LS pack. Mm -hmm. So that's a look at Rush, Valkyrie, Pakora base layers and gets us through the initial Badlands gear line. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. So Amy, we wanted to do something kind of a little extra cool for the launch of the Badlands women's gear line. So we developed this, we're calling it the launch tee. It's okay. a special edition women's tee. Uh, you can see it on the screen here, the try to keep up with me graphic. A lot of that kind of feel and verbiage from the video you saw at the first of the yep. tape, uh, trying to keep up and, and all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do with this is the first 300 orders that come through at badlandsgear.com that have a women's apparel item or uh, the women's Valkyrie pack mm -hmm. in that order are gonna be able to choose one of these t-shirts for free. So you'll just simply Sweet. click your size, add it to cart, and uh, be able to get our limited edition. We're making 300 and nice. won't make it again. So uh, we're doing that at launch, something we're super excited cool. about. Yep. Uh, but what else do people absolutely love anytime? They love a good... Oh. Anytime you have a giveaway. There you go. Yeah. We got to have a giveaway, right? <laughs> yeah. So we want to thank everybody for tuning in to this launch event today. We had a ton of fun talking about the gear, the launch, welcoming all our guests, talking to everybody. But we know everybody loves free <laughs> stuff. So what we're doing for giveaways is Badlands is putting together five Uber gear packages based around the women's gear. So base layers, jacket, pant, pack, nice. probably throw in a bino case. We're going to do five complete uh. giveaway packages for people that watched here today. So what you'll do to enter that, you can see the URL here on the screen is visit badlandsgear.com slash giveaway. You'll find a form there, a simple sign up, get you entered to win one of those awesome five prize packages. But that's not all, as they say. <laughs> Uh, over on QVC or wherever they may be. Uh, our friends at Crimson Trace, uh, one of which you can see here, that's Tori, who we love working with over there. She graciously uh, donated three of their brush line rifle scopes to give away as well. So that's going to be three separate giveaways we're going to be able to do. I'm going all out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we had to. So our friends at Crimson Trace, again, three rifle scopes going to go to nice. three different winners. So we'll be able to give away eight awesome prize packages from this event. Again, all you have to do is enter at that badlandsgear.com slash giveaway and you'll be good to go. Um, you can share the link with friends if you really like them. If you want to increase your own odds, keep it quiet. But uh, <laughs> It's like putting in for draws. Exactly. Yeah, hunt draws. Do you really want to tell people that the deadline's coming up or just kind of let it slide by, yeah. right? Yeah. So again, um, that's, that's about it. We touched on the gear. We touched on giveaways. I feel like there's something we're missing. The famous Badlands uh, warranty is uh, something that everybody yeah. needs to remember because thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, I, I would, I would put it down that it's probably one of the best warranties out there on the market. Yeah, if you I cut mean, the word probably out of that sentence, yeah, you have it exactly is. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the unconditional Badlands lifetime warranty. We harp on it all the time. It's because it's so important. Uh, we cover everything we make with a lifetime warranty, a no questions asked warranty. We want you to feel comfortable with your purchase. We know things are an investment. We know you want to have them for a long time. Basically, if anything ever happens to your gear, rips, tears, breaks, whether it's your fault, something else, freak accident, doesn't matter. We're not <laughs> going to ask you what happened. We're going to fix it or replace it for life for free. 
And uh, we're happy to do that. We've been doing it since Badlands was started 20 plus years ago, and we'll continue to do that um, uh, forever. So we're happy to offer that. It goes with all the women's gear. Again, everything we make covered unconditionally. So you can have that complete peace of mind when making your purchase. So speaking of that, uh, now is the time we kind of say it's available, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Check it out. Yeah. The gear is available now. Badlandsgear.com. Check it out. Hit up your local dealer. See what they have on the shelves. If they don't have it, tell them to get it in there so you can try it on. But again, so many more pictures, yep. uh, videos, demo videos, specs, dims, weights, all that stuff you want to know about the gear is available at Badlandsgear.com. Check it out. Learn more. What more can we say? Badlands Women's Gear is here. I mean, finally, I've been forever. I've been waiting for it, but it's finally <laughs> I know. here. She keeps harping on that. It's I know. Forever. So it's, but it was worth the wait. It's I would here. Have to say. Worth the wait. That's a great way to end. <laughs> Badlands Gear, it's worth the wait. Happy hunting. <laughs>